y'all. This is Marley K. Hope y'all are well. Got a story that I want to bring to you. I don't think I've ever talked about the um, strategic petroleum reserves, but I want to talk about this because gas prices are going up and most people are not aware of what is coming when it comes to our oil reserves. Um, our country has been using reserves and not replenishing them for quite some time. And because the rest of the world is not playing ball with us anymore, the, the petrodollar is getting ready to go away. And the oil rich nations are dealing with each other and trying to get away from us. It's going to leave people with gas cars in a, a bind. And it's all by design because the goal is to, by 2026, be using EVs, which are electric vehicles. So I'm going to read this story to you and you'll have to go back to, I think I did a story about electric vehicles. But anyway, uh, Papa signed a bill when he got into office for all electric, uh, for electric cars to be built in all cars built in 2026 to have kill switches on them. And this is. Uh, in line with the New World Order's desire to control everything. And so with the electric vehicle, they'll be controlled by satellite, um, on Wi-Fi. So if you get out of line, if you go out of your district, if you go um, outside of your carbon footprint tracker usage data, whatever they're going to be collecting, they're going to cut your car off. You ain't going to be able to drive. So let me read this to you because this is an important story. If you have a gas powered car, not so much if you use public transportation, because if you use public transportation, I mean, you're just going to have whatever is available until you're required to get the mark. And then you're required to use that in order to access those modes of transportation. So it says the U.S. pulls back offer to buy six million barrels of oil for emergency reserve. So the the oil that we have been using, which is used for gas, they are not replenishing. And that's going to be problematic. So it's going to make our gas prices go up. And it's also still we, we are still consuming from the reserves. So when those things are gone, there is no gas, which is why if you can store fuel safely, I recommend buying gas cans while you have money, um, getting fuel to put on your property. I know a lot of people, I live in the country, so a lot of people have farms, so they have ways to store fuel. Um, people have barrels of gas and they put oil treatment in it. They keep it, you know, on their property so that when they need to have gas, they can have some. And that comes in handy when everybody else is stalled out on the side of the road and can't go anyplace. But you got stuff you need to do when you got gas. Uh, I know a lot of people who did that in Florida because when the power goes out, you can't pump gas. When... Uh, a storm comes and they run out of fuel and no fuel is coming because we were so far down at the bottom of Florida. Uh, we just, you know, were without fuel. So you would see a lot of people with lots of gas cans um, filling up because also if you had got gas powered tools like um, a trimmer, a chainsaw, those types of things, generators, then you need to have fuel to run those things. So it makes no sense to have a generator if you don't have enough fuel to put into it. Uh, if you run into a situation where you need to cut trees off your property and you can't do that because your chainsaw doesn't have fuel, well, you're out of luck. Uh, so fuel is something that you need to be thinking about. Even if you need to leave your property and bug out someplace else. You need to have uh, gas cans with gas and gas treatment or that mixture for your power tools if you have uh, gas-powered power tools so that you can 
do whatever you you need to do on your property. So let me read this story to you. It says the Biden administration has pulled an offer to buy 6 million barrels of oil for the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. An Energy Department spokesperson said on Tuesday, as oil prices are expected to keep rising after a output cut from Saudi Arabia. So gas prices are going to continue to go up. So if you have a means to store gas while you can, especially if you travel a lot, you should. The U.S. made the latest solicitation to buy the sour crude oil from the SPR or for the SPR on July 7th. After the administration released a record 180 million barrels from the reserve last year to control prices after Russia's invasion of Ukraine. So you see how all these things are just like uh, having a domino effect. It, it's always slow. It's going to be gradual. But the way that they've timed everything a lot of things are going to hit at one time. So if fuel is going up, that means food is going to go up too because it's going to cost more to transport it. Uh, same with uh, ships bringing in um, tr food from other places, ex um, exports or imports. Everything is going to go up. So you got to understand all this stuff is interconnected. Um, the Energy Department has brought back 6.3% million barrels in recent months. So 180 million barrels. And then you're talking about 6 million barrels. That is nothing. That's like not even 1% of oil to replace what was used. So you see what I'm saying? This, the, the lack of effort is the thing that's tripping me out. The move was not a rejection of oil companies' offers to sell oil to the SPR, but a decision made on market conditions, the spokesperson said. The person not the person not specify what that meant or said did not specify what that meant. But tight oil supplies that have caused global oil prices to rise above $80 per barrel in recent weeks. Oil prices are expected to rise further in coming months after Saudi Arabia said it would cut output by 1 million barrels per day starting in July, on top of other cuts from the eight OPEC countries around announced in April. So they are basically suffocating us. And most people don't even realize it. So while people are outside living their best lives, not really concerned about stuff like this, it is going to hit all of us at once. And it's going to be really painful. You got high food prices, you got high gas prices, the winter is coming. So naturally, everything is going to be more expensive. The American Petroleum Institute indicated on Tuesday that U.S. crude stocks fell about 15.4 million barrels in the week that ended July 28th, sources said. So that means we got less fuel in our supplies, in our reserves, and nobody's making more. So eventually, Babylon is going to fall. Babylon is going to be stuck at home because she's not going to be able to put gas in her car. She's not going to be able to afford food. The Biden administration has said it wants to buy back oil for the reserves when it costs 67 to $72 per barrel. Now, you know they ain't finna let Babylon get no oil that price right. Ba oil about to go through the roof, if that's the case, because Babylon got to fall. Biblical prophecy unfolding. The Energy Department remains committed to its replenishment strategy for the SPR, which includes direct purchases, returns of all oil that was loaned to companies in the wake of hurricanes and other supply disruptions, and cancellation of planned sales where drawdown is is unnecessary in coordination with Congress, the spokesperson said. Last year's record sales from the reserve have pushed its level of oil to the lowest in about 40 years, although domestic crude output is higher now. Also, you know, we've been helping out the West, Europe, because they got their stuff from P-Daddy. 
P Daddy was like middle fingers to you. I don't care what y'all do. So we gave away our stuff to people who can't replenish their stuff because they are vampires. They have they they don't have anything that of value that nobody wants. They rely on others' resources. And so the world is basically giving the West a middle finger. And what we had, we've given to them. So now we don't have. So it's like an empty cup trying to pour out the last drops. And then when you go to get some water, there is no water for you. So that's that's what we're getting ready to experience. So it's gradualism, people. It's gradualism. But this is another data point, not to make you fearful, just to give you a data point as another indicator where we are in the fall of Babylon. So with that said, make sure you have gas cans with fuel. Make sure if you got a lot of stuff and a lot of property that you need to uh, be taken care of and you have big equipment that you have fuel on your property, make sure you keep your car filled. You should not be getting below half a tank. Make sure you have extra resources for if you need to leave and bug out, you got a decent gas can that you can take with you. Tell the people in your family, same thing. Everybody should be having gas at their homes, at least two gas cans. Um, if you live in places where there are hurricanes, you definitely need to have fuel because it's more likely now that you won't get any or it will be so expensive, it'll be unaffordable. So you need to have some fuel set aside and you need to have fuel treatment. You need to make sure you have fuel injection cleaner and fuel treatment for um, the stuff that you do have in case your fuel needs to sit and it's hot and humid and it gets a little water in it. Get you some fuel treatment to bring that stuff back to life. Keep pushing. But it's, it's time to prep people. This gradualism is going to catch up with us. And these people are telegraphing what is happening and for those who are awakened, those who are paying attention, and those who can see, can counter or soften the fall whenever we start falling. Those who are not prepared are planning to fail. So my goal on this channel is to keep my people aware of what's going on, keep us focused and prepping in all the areas that we need to have. Uh, in our lives and, you know, to sustain our circle of people that we're going to be responsible for. So even me, like I, I have to, I've been slacking on the gas piece myself. I don't have, you know, a whole bunch of stuff and there's really no place that I can't get to here where I, I can't, I can walk to um, around the corner from a store and a couple of stores, but they're all within walking distance and I got a wagon. Um, but if I needed to go, say, to take care of something for my grandkids or take my grandkids something or do something for my son, or if I needed to go check on my parents who live an hour and a half away, I may not have gas. So I need to be thinking in that manner. You know, have fuel. Make sure you have what you need for your family. If you're out of town, you need to make sure you have um, gas cans to travel in town. Um, and again, if you got land and got a place to store fuel, I know a lot of people who have, you know, barrels of fuel, they'll go to the, uh, well, I better not say that on this channel because they get you, but people store fuel on their property. They do it in, in, um, they move fuel modestly, but, um, they do what they got to do. And it's not our people. It's not Yasharel. I'll just tell you that. It's the Gentiles. So, um, again, the more things you think about and the more ways you prep, the more prepared you will be. And so this story is, again, not to make you fearful, but just to help you understand what is going on in Babylon. Babylon is using up all the fuel because y'all going to drive them electric cars. They're going to junk your gas power vehicles and you're going to have to have an electric vehicle um 
soon you're gonna start seeing gas stations go out of business and so they're gonna make it uncomfortable for you to even have a gas car so again if you need to go to a city uh, it's gonna be a problem I definitely you know recommend people get out of those cities and try to be someplace where you can be in walking distance or at least not need so much because it's going to be a fight trying to get fuel in these places where these uh, large uh, populations of people are and there are more vehicles and more people than there are resources so again take that into consideration i know it's difficult to think about but i'm gonna tell you small town living is the business when it comes to what's coming we might not be able to escape everything but some of this stuff in the beginning it's going to be ugly. So the city is not uh, going to be the business. All right. This is Marley K. Please like this video, share it, and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification so that you can be notified every time I make a new upload. Check the description because my social media platforms as well as other streaming platforms are in the description. Please follow me on those channels so that you can communicate with me in the event that I am blocked on YouTube because I'm subject to get a second strike at any time. That's how they're rolling now. All right. Love y'all. This is Marla K. Get you some gas. Get you some gas cans and some gas. Some fuel treatment. Get all that good stuff. in fuel injection cleaner with all, with all that other man stuff men have to get get that ladies if you don't know what to get ask some brothers uh because you're gonna need it too if you got a car that's powered by gas you're gonna need it too all right this is marty k love y'all and i'm out